In this tutorial series, I'm going to be covering how to use the program SynthEdit. SynthEdit can be used to create your own VST synthesizers or effects and even sell them if they're good enough. SynthEdit can be a little confusing to get started with, so I'm going to try to explain the basics here. We're not going to be doing anything cool yet, but we will get up and running. Here we have the SynthEdit program. To start a new project, go up to File and click New, or just use the shortcut Control N. This opens up a new window, which will hold all the components that will make up our simple synth. Everything we make in SynthEdit is going to be comprised of various modules. A module is the basis of everything in SynthEdit. Modules are able to do many things, including create audio or MIDI data. Let's add our first module now. Right click on the project window and go to Insert. Go down to Input Output and select Sound Out. This adds the Sound Out module to our project. The Sound Out module sends audio to your sound card. This way we can hear the sound that SynthEdit is producing. We have this list of numbers running down the side of the module. These are called plugs. Plugs are used to connect modules together. These plugs in particular route the audio to the specified sound card channel. Let's add another module. Right click the project window, go to insert, go down to waveform, and select oscillator. The oscillator module produces a simple waveform. This is going to be our sound source. On the oscillator module, you'll see we have a various selection of plugs. Notice that some of the plugs are facing to the left, just like with our sound out module. However, some plugs are facing right. The reason they face on different directions is because they show you the flow of the signal. These plugs on the left are input plugs, while these plugs on the right are output plugs. Here we have the audio out plug on the oscillator, and we're going to connect it to the one plug on the sound out module. We connect plugs using patch cords. To do that, just click a plug. As you can see, now we have a line drawn from the plug to the mouse cursor. This line is called a patch cord. Now click on the one plug on the sound out module to connect it. You'll only be able to connect input plugs to output plugs. If I try to connect this pitch plug to the two plug, I get an error saying can't connect. At this point, we can push this play button up here to begin producing the sound. However, if you're following along, please turn down your volume, as it produces a very loud waveform. So, we hit play, and there you go. We can hear the oscillator module sound. A couple other things. You can move the modules around by clicking on the title bar and dragging the box around. If you notice, when I move the modules around, they are kind of jumpy. This is because Snap to Grid is turned on. Go up to Edit and click on Snap to Grid or just push Ctrl G. Now, with snapping off, the modules move around smoothly. You can select the patch cords by clicking on them and then delete them by pressing the Delete key or right clicking the patch cord and selecting Delete. You can also select multiple objects by holding down the mouse button and dragging a box around the object. So that covers the absolute basics. In the next video, we'll look at how to improve upon this very basic synth. Thanks for watching.